Welcome back to Abundance Thursdays with myself, Walter Murillo, and the great Vinny Smile Chopra, who is freezing in California right now. So you said it's 42 degrees. Vinny, you're, you're back in the blank. Welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. It was 32 degrees when I got up, and it's 42 right now. I know the weather change has really affected all around the world, of course, and in USA, and especially in the Bay Area, where I live in Danville Blackhawk. No, it's and really I heard, exciting. <laughs> I heard Austin, Texas has snow, or they had snow this week. And the, the power grid was down. So California knows how to do it a little better than Texas, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> at least you got sure. power. So Vinny, we this, uh, this week we're talking about uh, Wealth Principle 52. It's the last and final the principles of the year. We start over uh, next week with the new one. And it's, it's a powerful principle because it came from the first book I ever read, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And, and this book talks yes. about the, sh- the seventh uh, principle, which is sharpen the saw. So, yeah. you know, in according to the book, sharpen the saw was uh, were designed to be like reflective and building yourself up. And there's a story about uh, the gentleman who's chopping the tree down, a young guy and an older guy. And, yes. and the older guy is sharpening the saw before he chops the tree. Um, yes. How does this how does this reflect for real estate investors who are you know hungry? They're going at it. You know, they're, they're, maybe they're whacking the tree all year with a, a dull blade. What are some ways yes. that a person can sharpen the saw in in real estate and success in general? Oh, sure, sure. This is a very good topic. You know, uh, Walter. The key thing is it's the process of taking time out to refresh, to refresh, to recharge. And also, you know, to engage in the activities that allow us to the best version of ourselves. You know, I mean, if we are in real estate or any other business, we definitely want to sharpen the systems and our procedures and our team's efforts so that we get the maximum benefits. So it's like striving force to be better, to be better. Just like, you know, the older gentleman, Stephen Covey's book, right? Seven Habits. You know, he was taking every hour, a little bit time to sharpen the blade, sharpen the blade. And he cut twice as many trees by the end of the day as compared to the young guy. So that has been very indelible impression in my mind and a lot of people's mind. You know, how can we really sharpen our skills. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And, and before we talk about it and like the give away the tactics on how, I want to go back to how does somebody even know that they need to sharpen the saw? How does somebody know like maybe they're working too hard or things aren't working out? Or what are some of the signs that it's time to go back and maybe just refresh things? I would say definitely the key factor is by setting goals and allowing achievable goals they should be stretch goals but if you're not achieving it if it's in the calls or demos presentations or your click funnel is not working good or you know you're always postponing things which are very important for your business but you don't have time for it see that's the thing a lot of times we get so consumed with the unnecessary like i say a b c d e f g h a lot of us spend time in FGH and we worry, don't worry about the ABC because we need to be really prioritizing our activities. We have excellent time, 24 hours, and we sleep and eat and all. But the thing is, when we are working, we need to be totally sharp at our skills, at our systems. That's the other one, right? Unless we use all the cutting edge systems that are available to us. And by golly, are there systems that are available to us? Wait, was I'm that a pun, Vinny? You just said cutting <laughs> edge. You were talking about sharpening the saw. <laughs> so some of the systems are, are definitely important because if you're not using the best systems, then obviously you're using a dull blade. You're using old systems. Dull, totally, systems. totally, totally. Be ready to change. Change with time and change to get better results. Because if we keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over, but expect different results, that's insanity. We talked about it, right? Insanity's definition is if we expect different results, but we don't change the activities, which will bring us the big results. And also 80-20 Prado principle. 
20% of the effort some time that I put in a day with my broker or investors or, you know, uh, anything or attorney or like that, or my team member who needs help, it gets me 80% of the results. Nope. So that is the beauty of anybody to really look at what can you do to make life easy for the people and how to communicate. See, that's the other problem because a lot of times we are just jumping at people around us. You know, do this, do that, do that. I mean, you know, and they see who is the heck is this guy or girl? You know, she doesn't have it under con. You know, you got to be totally taking time out to plan out your vision, your course of action, and then giving responsibilities to different people in your team. Like I mentioned, you know, Fridays is my catch-up day. Catch-up day to see what happened from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, Thursday, and then Friday, you're able to set yourself up. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take this uh, watch out because I'm doing exercise. It's saying, <laughs> have you fallen or something? So I have to say, no, I didn't Vinny's fall. Vinny's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Because your your arms going up and down with the, the elliptical. I know, so, with, again and again, they say, what's going on? This so you're, you're talking show. about this this concept of uh, revitalizing yourself, of, of sharpening yourself up every week. You've mentioned this yes. before on the podcast. You've mentioned your Fridays where you spend some time like evaluating what's working, what's not working, uh, yeah. like shifting for the next week ahead so that when that comes, you've got a plan. Um, yeah, yeah. Right now, you you and I have been really focused on the whole idea of building millionaires. Like, how do we help somebody get wealth faster? You know, your your belief is and your proof, your proof of what you've done for yourself and other people is a syndication is the way to do it. You've been talking a lot about multifamily syndication, apartment investing is the highest leverage way to get there. How does somebody sharpen the saw on on their skills if they haven't done a deal yet or they've done a deal, but they, they're wondering why they haven't done that next deal? What are some things an investor can do to sharpen the skill? Totally, totally. I would say, Walter, the biggest thing comes out in, in my mind, be questioning everything, be inquisitive and learn as much as you can. But then learning also on the Internet and everything can get you some knowledge. But I really believe the reason I'm where I'm today, it's because of the coach and the mentor that took me and they showed me all the ins and outs and what their challenges were. We are not to step on the mine, I call it, because stepping on one mine can blow us up. 10,000, 20, 50, 100,000 gone, lawsuit, this and that. But syndication is a great, great, and that's why I wrote the book, syndication, apartment syndication made easy because that really, I wanted to let everybody know in USA and abroad, in India, it's very popular also, and uh, Australia and London and Canada and all. But the key thing is, I wanted to simplify it, simplify it so that you could learn the art of syndication, which is simply gathering the money of like-minded people for a great cause. You could buy apartments or wholesale more or flip homes more or buy developments or buy a company, buy an IT company, you name it, storage units, uh, you know, marina. I'm looking at a marina in over there in Minnesota right now, you know. So there are so many and hotels. Wait a minute. You know, so there are so many different things you can do. Only you could do it if you have money for down payment and closing costs. That's where syndication comes. Exactly. Because exactly. you're not talking about small deals anymore. You're talking about hotels. You're talking about uh, mul large multifamilies, these marinas, these, these opportunities. Uh, that only yeah. comes from people who have capital to invest. That's so right. if you don't exactly. have it yourself, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> syndication is the art. I mean, it's, it's not a bad word. A lot of people look at it, syndication is a, you know, like a curse. It's not. Every company in the United States and the world is a syndicated deal because people are buying shares of the stock. That's all it is. You are able to have your relatives, friends, people that you know and care, and they are getting only 2% or 4% now, you know, but if you could give them 14, 15, 20% returns per year, why not? 
right? By finding a good deal in real estate, let's say we are in real estate, and asking them to join hands with you and then give them great tax benefits and give them cash flows and returns and equity gains. That's the beauty. And that's where I've gone from a duplex in Odessa, Texas, which we still own, to 14 units, 180,000, which we sold it for 380, I think. It's worth 1.8 million. I just found out. Wow, I should have kept it. But then so many other syndications, almost over 40 syndications, up close to 800 million and should be billion very soon. The key thing is I only could do this with the power of other people's help and money. See, that's the thing. OPM, other people's money, to bring it out in a good way, legal way, syndication, not a Ponzi scheme or anything like that. I mean, that's where you know we have, and we have to educate our investors. That's all. I never ask them for money. I just educate them and then show them the great deal, which I have underwritten well and found in a good market and everything. Then they just jump on it. Yeah. I, I like it. Like you're you're showing people how to actually build wealth with an actual system, uh, one that we're following ourselves and just modeling right after what you've done, uh, Vinny. So you mentioned mentorship is a key. Being able to ask somebody questions, having the opportunity. Mm-hmm. I know you're very busy, but um, do you have any? Because you did ours uh, recently. You did uh, multifamily syndication for Alchemist Nation. You did a big training for us, and yes. I think there's over a hundred, uh, hundred and forty people were on that call. Forty people. Who I learned remember. and were yes. asking questions at the end. You stayed on for a long time. Uh, when's sure. the next talk you have uh, coming up for? Hold on, it's today. It's today. Anybody no. listening to <laughs> us? All right, guys, come down. I'll be virtual from my Danville office here in California, but it's the Boston Ria. Oh, it's going to be fabulous. And I'll be teaching all the skills and everything and answering a lot of questions uh, for 45 minutes or an hour and maybe even more. You know, I'll be there as long as you need me. So please do come and join us. Yeah. And we can put a link also. Yes, yes. And if you're uh, if you're not a member of the Boston Ria, uh, drop yes in the chat if you'd like to come. Uh, and right now, like Facebook doesn't like us dropping links. So what we'll do is if you drop yes in, in Facebook, we'll go and we'll send you a direct message with the link. I'll get that from my team. I'll have my team uh, message you. So if you know you want to come and learn how to do uh, syndication, then Vinny's teaching yeah. tonight. <laughs> Amazing. Totally. <laughs> love it. Love so, it. Yeah, love it. Sharpening the saw and getting the skills for syndication, do you feel like this is kind of like just meant to be like, this is the time to do it, you know, with the market. You were just telling me about deals that are coming up in Texas and, you know, opportunities oh. that are coming across the country. Is, is this just the time to get into syndication, isn't it? It is. It really is. Remember when I started 2007, 8, 9, it was a slump, you know, economic town shift. I wrote it. I have been making money last three, four, five years also. But now the market is adjusting. The seller's expectations are getting lowered and there will be great opportunities coming. Some people paid a lot of money for these assets last three, four years, and they have bridge loans and other loans which will come due and they'll have to sell. Some insurance costs have gone way up in certain coastal parts of the you know, nation. So that is also affecting. And again, the biggest thing is the interest rate hikes. We just had 0.25 yesterday. There'll be another one coming in about a month or two months or like that. So the key thing is to be ready with the money. Start talking to your family, friends and all, because through syndication, legally, you can have them become equity partner with you. Equity partner, not a debt partner, equity. That means you buy low, sell high, and the gain you will share almost 70%. I share 70 to 80% with my investors. And they don't have to do any work at all, you know? (laughs) True passive income. It's actually, I like that you mentioned it because Ron and I have been getting out of the active side of real estate. We've been looking at syndications just to, you know, partner on either as LPs or partial LP GPs, especially smaller deals. If we can bring a full million, then, you know, and they give us GP, like that's, that's a great opportunity for us to get 70, 80% of the deal and the operator is running it. So it's, um, syndication is just a fantastic model. I know for me as, as a, 
passive uh, investor in that. And then also as a, a GP on some deals, it's, you know, it's been a great way for us to do deals that we normally wouldn't be able to do. Uh, so if you're sure. listening right now and you don't know the ins and outs of syndication and you want to sharpen it, uh, I was going to say Vinny's got a course on Alchemist Nation, but even better tonight, he's actually speaking at the Boston Rio. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. so that's yes. probably the better avenue right now is uh, to be able to answer, ask questions. Uh, Vinny, what, what else when it comes to sharpening the saw, if you were to give us one specific thing uh, that it's really important to be able to just go back and review right now uh, for syndication, what would it be? You know, I would say to really uh, free up your time, automate your tasks, you know, because everybody is looking for time or money, time or money, time or money. And the more you have freeing up time to be in the best quadrant, like Stephen Covey talks about also, but the quadrant, non-urgent, non-important that, or important non-urgent in the fourth, uh, you know, sector, it's so important that we know down deep in our heart, if the company is not growing, if our things are not moving in the right direction, if the morale of the employees and the team members, I never say employees, is not that, you know, it's like down, you got to take time out and sharpen the skills and, the, and, and, and learn. I think education is a big part of sharpening the saw or learning the tools which are available or hiring the professionals Like I'm going big time with two different blog sites. You know, my, you know, is accredited investors, accredited investors who have a million dollar or more net worth. So they could invest 100,000, 200, 500 with me and more through retirements and all. But the other one is the educational part of it. So we are going big, big bonkers with chat GPT and Quill something and all that stuff. So we are just having very big synergy in sharpening our saws and people around me. That's the beauty of it, you know? So I am always looking to improve. I mean, I always say to my team, I'm not the sharpest guy around, not at all. I'm not. You're still sharpening anyway. (laughs) (laughs) We got to, we got to. And how do we really sharpen is to get professionals to come in your circle to take you to the next level. To get that cutting edge technology, sharpen the saw, get to the next level totally. on the on the blade. Totally. <laughs> exactly. So much fun, man. I, I love Abundance exactly. Thursdays because uh, <laughs> you know you're just a wealth of knowledge. And one of the things you said that I actually put it in my second book, I put it in this one, was mm. we only ever have two currencies. It's time or money. That's my opening yeah. chapter, opening line. And you just yes. said that. And I, it just reminds me of, um, of how like true that statement is. So if you're looking for more time or more money, it may be time to go sharpen the saw. Uh, this is, you know, Vinny Chopra is giving us <laughs> his abundance on Thursdays. Uh, so if you are getting a lot out of it, hit it with a thumbs up or share it or both. Share it with somebody who definitely wants uh, to learn how to get to that next level, especially if they're in the real estate space. Vinny's been in real estate for almost two decades. <laughs> More than that, brother. More than that. Uh, 35, 36 years. I know, you know, 37 years or so now. Yeah. (laughs) And you started syndication 14 years ago, right? 54 years old. 15, yeah. 15 now. (laughs) So, so there's never a time you're not, it's never too late. Uh, so if you're wondering and saying, man, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to get rich. Stop trying to do it today and start taking the action today to get it done in three to five years. And you got to hang with us. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. I hope everybody who's watching us now or even later in our podcast, see, many times our mentality is, I want to do more research, more research, more research. I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I, I just am so focused on this and that. I think if we just made that one small decision that, you know, I'm going to use other people's money, OPM, legally, which is syndication, it's going to change your life forever. Forever, ever, ever. In my academy, people are just enjoying and getting to know all the tricks of the trade and everything. So please join tonight and also reach out to Vinny Chopra and Gualter Amarello. We love to come to you you know, every Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific from San Francisco, and then Tampa, 12 p.m. Eastern. So cheers to your success. We have a choice. Always work with the best. We'll see you next week. See you next week.